Good morning, Rick. I, needless to say, you're my very favorite all-time biochemist. <laughs> Thanks <laughs> for the big, big difference you've made in my life personally and my health. And oh, it's so fun to represent products that can make such a difference. And it's just a thrill to be able to have all these wonderful stories and talk about things that you get to be the very first time to to share with a lot of these people and they can change their whole lives. And now we've got a couple of new products. So I, I guess maybe for those that might be hearing about you for the first time, just do a little re review of who you are and what brought us to this point. And, and that we got these new products, but I guess on the other hand, they're really not new. So that's kind of exciting too. So. Yes. It'll take me an hour and a half to introduce myself, but let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> so first, I apologize. I have a scratchy throat. Just we went for the conference to we went to the uh, largest ingredient show in the country, Supply Side West in Las Vegas. I just got back yesterday on the red eye. And so it's been nonstop for the last two weeks. And I also apologize that to get onto this call, I had to use my old computer. For some reason, I'm having internet problems at home. So that's why the picture is so bad. This is a very old computer with a very old camera. <laughs> But I'll talk about myself just briefly. I'm a biochemist. Dave said my his favorite biochemist. I don't know how many biochemists you know. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think I'm a little different in the field because I'm both a nutritional biochemist and a pharmaceutical biochemist. On the pharmaceutical side, I run a biotech company called Nutripharma. We have drugs for multiple sclerosis, HIV, ALS, AMN, and working with really venomous peptides from venomous animals, particularly Asian cobra. And that led us to our over-the-counter products that we sell that now we now make for Avini in the form of the plus relief line of products, the, the over-the-counter pain relievers and anti-inflammatory drugs. That comes from my, my pharmaceutical biochemistry. As a nutritional biochemist, I had the great fortune to work for the Rexall Sundown family of companies back in the late 90s and early 2000s. That was... Rexall, GNC, Metrex, Worldwide Pure Protein, Royal Numico. We we're the largest manufacturer of dietary supplements on the planet. And when I was with them, I formulated more than 50 products. I did more than 50 clinical studies. But the coolest thing is for the first time ever, I got to get on stage in front of people and explain the products, how they work, how they're used, potential contraindications, potential chaperones, what other products make them work better. And that's different for a scientist. Most scientists work you know, on their own in a basement somewhere and no one ever sees them. And so it was exciting for me to have a person behind the product, not just a store shelf. And so uh, that was my introduction to network marketing. I've, I've loved it ever since. I love the distributors. I love the passion they have. And uh, Neil Roth, our CEO, talks about all the time, the, the emotional currency we get in helping people and hearing their stories. So that's a very exciting thing for a scientist that most scientists don't get to do. The other thing you mentioned is you talked about <clears throat> that we have new products, but not new products. So I've been in product development for now 27 years, and we have a lot of great products that just aren't being sold anymore. We, When I was at Rexall, we had a whole line of very high-end sports nutrition that we called Ultimate Performance. And I formulate all those products. I actually use these products with sports teams all over the world, not just in the U.S. So we have lots of studies, lots of information, lots of uh, real use in real situations. And over time, as those companies got sold and resold and changed hands, those products got discontinued. I went ahead and said for Avini, let's go back to the vault and look at the best products that we had out there that just aren't being sold anymore. And uh, that's where we came back with our plus hydration. And you know as well as I do that almost every one of our products we say requires drinking plenty of water. When you're detoxifying with Cell Defender, when you're using the Plush Relief, the analgesic, both of those products have a slight diuretic effect as they're detoxing and causing anti and, and reducing inflammation. And so we say drink plenty of water. And so here's now another way that we can hydrate properly, especially as we're physically active. So it's a very exciting addition to the product line. Do you want me to dive right in and talk about it? I oh, let, gonna... let's do it. Yeah, I was just, <laughs> I, I thought that was your cue. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> we all know what sports drinks are, Gatorade, Powerade, all these things. And uh, we know they have electrolytes. First of all, understand what electrolytes are. Electrolytes are positively charged minerals. And the honest truth is, yes, calcium, magnesium are electrolytes, but 
mercury and lead are electrolytes too. They're positively charged, they're ionic minerals. And what happens in the bloodstream is because those positive charges, like charges repel, you ever try to put the same pole of a magnet together and it pops apart, like charges repel. And so you have all of these positively charged compounds trying to get away from each other in your bloodstream. And what that does is it actually makes you hold more water in your bloodstream to separate those particles. So the more electrolytes you have, the more water you hold on to. Now, this is important because all of us at one time or another have gotten really thirsty or really hot and we drink water. And the second we drink water, we just start sweating or we have to run to the bathroom and, uh, and, and you know, relieve ourselves. That's because we don't have the electrolytes to hold on to the water. So the water comes in and the water goes out. The wonder of the first real commercial sports drink, Gatorade, was at the University of Florida. The Florida Gators, the football team, were the guinea pigs. They're the ones who started using the product. And they had a winning season. And sports writers all over the place said they're cheating. They have their Gatorade. You know, the Florida Gators had their Gatorade. And that's really where it comes from. So let's talk about, first of all, you, now you know what electrolytes do and how they work. Specifically, we're looking at healthy ions. We don't want heavy metals. So that's calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, uh, sodium. These are the uh, electrolytes that we want to replenish to get back into our system, to hold on to water, to volumize our blood. So that's really the main step in a sports drink is how do I drink and not lose the water right away? How do I utilize that water? The second step in a sports drink is it's the water has to get into the muscles. So all sports drinks have carbohydrates. When you're physically active, your muscles utilize glycogen in the muscle. That's the energy stored in the muscle. When that glycogen is used, the muscle goes into a state. We actually say it's carb starved. It's looking for carbohydrates to replenish the glycogen. Carbohydrates are like sponges. They're water attracting. So when you have a muscle that's carb starved, the carbohydrates you take in go right into the muscle. And because they're water attracting, they pull water into the muscle with it. So that's how you get water into the body and then into the muscle. So all sports drinks are basically the same. They have uh, electrolytes and carbohydrates. The one thing that most sports drinks ignore is how fast can you hydrate? How fast can you get the water from the stomach into the digestive tract and then into the muscle? <clears throat> so... That concept, and I'm going to give you guys a chemical concept, is called osmolality. Osmolality. Osmolality is a measure of solid particles suspended in a liquid. It doesn't matter their size. It just matters the count of those particles. Water will always flow from areas of low osmolality, osmolality to areas of high osmolality to break apart those particles, to separate those particles. The, digest the bloodstream around the digestive tract has an average osmol osmolality of about 250. Gatorade, Powerade, all those uh, drinks are about 280 to 300, sometimes even a little higher. What that means is when you drink the average sports drink, it hits your stomach and it stays there. You feel it in your stomach. And then over time, it gets absorbed and you get the electrolytes and you get the carbs and all the other benefits. But if you do one little trick... You make the carbs in the drink longer. Same amount of carbs, but larger chains. You lower the osmolality, osmolality of that beverage. By doing so, the water will get quickly from the stomach into the digestive tract. The plus hydration has an average osmolality of 220, less than the bloodstream around the digestive tract. Which means when you drink the plus hydration, you don't even feel it hit your stomach. It gets absorbed right away. And it's, I don't want to tell everyone to go do this, but it's a, a pretty fun experiment. You go ahead and you work out or you mow your lawn. You do something that you you drain yourself and you get thirsty and tired and you, you need hydration. And then you drink this. And it really feels like your body took a drink. It's like that because it gets absorbed so quickly. You never feel it hit your stomach. And that's the key to this. The low osmolality allows for rapid hydration, driving the carbs into the muscle and hydrating everything, improving performance, improving hydration. That's that's really what makes it so worlds better than every other hydration drink. So how do you use it? 
It is good for hydration. So we tell people drink plenty of water. If you want to replace a glass of water a day with a plus hydration, that's certainly going to be beneficial. The best way to use it is when you're physically active, especially when you're carb starved, when you've been using your muscles and you need to replenish those carbohydrates. That's actually the best time to use it. People have already asked me because they saw the carbs in there. And the carbs are mixed maltodextrins. Those are the long chain carbohydrates. And then fructose. Fructose is a carb and also a sweetener. Fructose is fruit sugar. And the wonderful thing about fructose is fructose is entirely metabolized in the liver. So it has a low glycemic index. When you absorb the fructose, it doesn't spike your blood sugar levels. Like all other sugars, they get metabolized in the digestive tract. Simple sugars get absorbed and your blood sugar goes straight up. Fructose gets metabolized in the liver slowly over a longer period of time. So it doesn't spike blood sugar levels. It's perfectly safe to use if you're diabetic or you're having trouble controlling your blood sugar. And it's another carb that goes into the muscle to replenish those glycogen stores. I've already gotten questions about the fructose in the product when people looked at the product online. So like I said, it's great hydration at all times, but the best time to take it when you're really going to feel a difference is when you're tired, when you're working out, when you're using those muscle glycogen stores and you need to replenish that. That's when it really is going to make the difference. This product, as I said, was a product that was part of our ultimate performance line. My favorite story, there were two stories. One is the uh, New York Islanders use this product, the hockey team. And most goalies in professional hockey cannot play a whole game. They'll play the first two periods, maybe a part of the third period. But it's very rare to see a goalie play the whole game. The first time the goalie of the uh, Islanders used this product, he played the entire game. He couldn't believe it. They could get through the whole game because he was being hydrated with this product. And he actually thanked me after the game. He said he's never felt so good hydrating throughout the game and, and staying on par. The other thing was the Munich Barons hockey team. So I said a lot of professional athletes used our products, and that included international teams. So the Munich Barons hockey team at the time were the number one hockey team in Europe well, they weren't until they started using these products. But the season they started using the products, they were winning, winning, winning. And hockey players especially are really superstitious. At one point with the New York Islanders, I ran out of one of our products and they lost the game and they blamed me. They said it was my fault because they didn't have that product. I said, "That's you can't blame me for losing a game. But the Munich Barons loved this product. This was their number one product. Every player used the rehydration drink. And when they won the national championship, not national, the European championships, they actually skated me out on the ice. The thank you. It was a very cool moment. It was a crazy ice hockey fanatics. And they were the number one team in Europe at the time. Jason Herter was their captain. He used to play for Vancouver. So he was incredibly popular, even among Americans and Canadians. So it was a really good, good feeling. But like I said, this product is not something new, something we just came up with. It's got years and years and years of, of use tons of data to support it and real use with real elite athletes that have seen the difference using the product. That's that's amazing. I've been around a a while and the first time I heard about electrolytes, it was take salt pills if you're really working a lot. And then when Gatorade came onto the market, I thought, oh, this is just Kool-Aid with salt in it. And (laughs) this looks like it's a lot more than that. Just a couple of questions along that line, electrolytes and and stuff, the type of electrolytes that you've got in there. And then also for quite a few years, particularly of all the evil carbohydrates are as high fructose corn syrup solids. And I, I think probably what we're worried about is just how much you're doing it, but maybe go into that because fructose is kind of an interesting thing. It'll just sneak in and doesn't create an insulin response at all. And, and the liver can turn it right into fat and you know, some other things like that, but I know you've got it tempered with or, or chaperone with these other sugars. I've never heard of chaperone used as, as an accompanying nutrition thing. That's a cool way to use that. So maybe, yeah, that's... maybe address why this is good. And, and also it's not just a chemical. It's also a thing, really, uh, if you're really working out hard and, and you feel a lot of sweat and that it seems like that would be the more likelihood you would use your electrolytes and that would be all the more important to, to use that. You'll, you'll probably notice it more when you're working out. So maybe talk a little bit about those things. Yeah, in fact, the, the most dangerous time when you work out is when you stop sweating, because that means that you're truly dehydrated and you could actually go into shock at that point. So and then you start drinking water right away. You start pouring sweat out because you've been dehydrated for so long. 
But first, with the electrolytes. So the uh, electrolytes that we balance this to is sodium, potassium, magnesium. Okay, so a good source of, of sodium, potassium, magnesium. There's electrolytes, and those are the most common electrolytes used in sports drinks anyway, and the ones that you most need to replace when you're sweating and when you're physically active. The fructose, this is not, I'm going to repeat, not high fructose corn syrup. There's no syrup in the product. There's no corn syrup solids. Uh, a lot of times that's used not just for sweetener, but mouthfeel. So corn syrup solids are used to make it feel like something's in a product when it's too watery or thin. This is fructose from citrus fruits, oranges, lemons, and limes. So it's a, a natural source of fructose, fruit sugar. And it's, it, it does not have the ability, like you talked about, fructose turning into fat. Well, in corn syrup solids, there's a lot more than just the fructose. That's why they say high fructose. There's a lot of other stuff in there. It's high in fructose, but there's a ton of other stuff. This is just fructose powder derived from citrus fruits okay it's it and i got to tell you it's not the bad guy like i said if you're going to have a sugar that you need for a carbohydrate a simple sugar is part of it this is the sugar to have i have answered this question a few times people also ask me about the flavors someone put on a whatsapp that natural flavors are toxic what do you mean natural flavors are toxic so someone told us all natural flavors that means it's toxic uh, so the orange flavor we use is from California oranges. It's freeze-dried California oranges. That's the only ingredient in our orange powder. The lemons are freeze-dried lemons. That's it. <laughs> freeze-dried, non-GMO lemons, organic lemons. That's the flavor. Okay. And the, the, the plus hydration is actually a mix of the lemon and the orange. So it's a citrus flavor. So the, I can say natural flavors because they are natural flavors. From lemons and oranges. I know what people just read a label and they make, they jump to conclusions, but we're happy to show everyone basically what we're putting in our products, where it's coming from. We pride ourselves in using all natural ingredients sourced from U.S. distributors as much as possible grown in the U.S., but some things just aren't grown in the U.S. But by going through U.S. distributors, you know that they're vetted, there's quality control, there's a certificate of analysis accompanying every single ingredient. And then, of course, we test everything when it comes in as well. Oh, fantastic. So if you're going to work out, it makes total sense that this would be something to use and this would be the best thing to use. What what about just day to day? Would there be benefit in that? Because electrolytes are really a critical thing. Would this have value? And and, and how, do you, how do you know if you're messed up as far as your electrolyte balance and stuff? I, I know probably the first thing they do if you're traumatized is they stick a needle in you and, and start putting salt water in you. Maybe talk a little bit about just the value. Yeah, you, you get to the hospital, the first thing you do is a couple cc's of bicarbonate to raise your pH, and then they give you a saline drip to make sure that you have uh, electrolytes in your blood and you're not going to go into shock. So that's like it's standard of care everywhere. So, yes, this is something that can benefit. How do you know you have electrolyte balance? There's a couple things. Cramping is the number one uh, thing. So when people say they have cramp, like leg cramps at night, even this whole concept of restless leg syndrome, 90% of cases are just dehydration and electrolyte imbalance. So I've told people, drink a sports drink before bed, and you're not going to have any of those issues, the leg cramping, any of that stuff, because the electrolytes in the water is going to rehydrate, is going to fill those muscles. Even as a 1% uh, uh, dehydration of the muscle leads to about a 12% loss in function. So that's where the cramping comes in. So Yes, this is something that's beneficial even if you're not working out. And I said that before. It's good hydration to replace maybe one glass of water a day or that you should be drinking anyway, especially if you have those nighttime issues, the restless leg syndrome or the, the cramping at night, then drinking it like a bedtime is fabulous. You know, drink it before bed because it's going to rehydrate you and you'll, you won't have any of those issues. And unlike drinking a big glass of water uh, at night, especially an older guy, you have to get up at two in the morning, three in the morning, go to the bathroom. Not so with this because of the electrolytes and the carbs you're holding on to that water. So it's much less likely you're going to have to go to the bathroom. So that, just, that's just that right there. Let's say that one more time. So if, if you're thirsty and you need a glass of water, but you're thinking, if I drink this, <laughs> I'm going to get up at, at, at night. If you did this, that might actually help it stay in longer and not wow so this is exactly be... that's exactly the reason sports drinks were first created because you were you'd be playing sports drinking water you're sweating you gotta run and go to the bathroom and the sports drinks allowed you to rehydrate without sweating or having to go to the bathroom you could play a whole game of football without having to go to the bathroom that's the whole point so if you're going to drink this instead of water just before bed 
there's a much reduced there's a reduced chance of you having to urinate in the middle of the night, which of course is you know interrupts your sleep, and then you have all sleep apnea and other issues uh, with that. So yes, it's perfectly healthy to use around when you're not working out. But like I said, I'm just seriously, the best time to use this is when you're carb depleted. That's when you're going to feel it the most. Your body's going to get the most benefit. Could this have a benefit as far as just weight management because uh, my smooth out electrolytes, but also your blood sugar, or is there anything along that line? Uh, yeah, so everything's low glycemic. The mixed maltodextrins are long chain carbs. They're incredibly low glycemic. The fructose metabolized through the liver is low glycemic. So none of this should have any change in a diabetic. Someone also asked about the, uh, the electrolytes, potassium, phosphorus, things like that, because they're a kidney patient. As a kidney patient, if you're on KDOR, if you're on uh, uh, electrolytes, this really is not going to make the difference. We're talking about drinking one a day, and it's basically about the electrolytes you would get in a sports drink. It's going to help hydrate you. It's going to help balance you, but it's not going to swing anything in too long a direction. So it's perfectly healthy to use in kidney patients and patients on diuretics and certainly on patients that may be on a prescription potassium like KDOR. I, th I think one of my favorite questions that is asked, does it have zeolite in it? Yes, it does. Yeah. <laughs> so all of our products have detoxolite, which is our trademarked uh, micronized and activated zeolite, except for the Plus Relief uh, line of products and the Nano Silver. But we we're dedicated to make sure that people understand the zeolite's tip of the spear, belongs in everything. And there is some synergy with the zeolite as well, because it helps shuttle the electrolytes. Uh, through cationic exchange, you get better value from the electrolytes you're taking in. I love it. <clears throat> oh, someone just asked that. Is there a in it? Okay, water weight gain. That's kind of interesting. Yes, you're holding on to more water. So there will be a slight water weight gain. <clears throat> but like I said, if you're physically active, you're going to process that anyway. It's not like a high salt diet. This isn't when you look at salt, salt's measured as potassium, sodium and, and sodium chloride. We measure that in grams. You know, you can get up to eight to 10 grams a day as necessary as part of life. We need salt to live. And so people on a low salt diet usually try to get between two and four grams a day, about half of what we normally uh, get. We're talking here at milligrams, you know, per dose, you know, 100 milligrams, 150 milligrams. It's enough to get the water into the bloodstream and hold on to it, but it's not enough to cause any salt issues for blood pressure or anything else. If you got a water weight gain, of all the healthy weight to gain, that would be water. And I, yeah. I've heard that just typically, if you're very young, your water to, to you know, the, the percentage of water that's part of you is higher than say, if you're older. And I'm thinking this could really be an aid. Like, like if you're older, you're eating less calories, you're metabolically slower. <clears throat> this could just be a really big aid in helping have uh, adequate hydration. And I, I think also I've heard a lot of times that of, of all of our signals that, that you're hungry or signals of whatever, that one of the weak ones is by the time you actually think I'm thirsty, you're already dehydrated. You should have done that long before. And then also maybe you're thinking, oh, I got the munchies. Maybe it's actually thirst rather than you really need to eat something. You need to go get a drink of water. This seems like this could be real useful in all of those aspects. So, so you have three things I have to talk about now. Okay. So the first thing is exactly right. So many times we think we're hungry and we're just thirsty. Most Americans live, and I say Americans because we're very different than the rest of the world, or we've actually exported our Western habits to the rest of the world. But most Americans are dehydrated. We don't drink enough. And we some, if we're thirsty, sometimes we interpret that as hungry. And want to eat instead of drink. The other thing is when you drink water, the water quenches your thirst right away before you're rehydrated. You haven't rehydrated. So that's another wonder of the co concept of sports drinks. Because it's salty, it doesn't quench your thirst. You drink more. And so it makes you rehydrate more efficiently. Because after you drink something with, with salt in it, you're like, oh, I'm still thirsty. So you drink some more. So that's something that's a, an added benefit that you continue to drink until you're actually rehydrated. Then lastly, we'll talk about water weight. So <clears throat> most diets, and I, I don't want to go into healthy versus unhealthy diets, but most popular diets today uh, utilize some form of, of reduced carbs. And carbs are water attracting. 
So when they do those diets, they lose a ton of water really, really fast. And it's a ton of weight. And they go, oh, I, I just lost 10 pounds in a week in this diet. This diet is fantastic. It's all water weight. You eat a sandwich and drink a glass of water, you gain it all back. So it is a little tricky to talk about water weight gain. Water weight is, like you said, the healthiest weight you can have. Lean muscle mass and water is the healthiest weight you can have. So it's only if you're uh, uh, hyper natremic, if you have way too high salt values and you're get, you have, you're puffy because you have too much water, that's a specific condition. Otherwise, you want that water in your body. That water in your body is helping met metabolism occur, it's helping chemistry occur, it's helping nutrition, it's helping uh, digestion, it's helping your brain function. You need that water to make everything work. And so the last thing you want is to be dehydrated and if you have a little bit of water weight gain with this, I would say it's probably because you needed it. Uh, fantastic. Do you, do you have any more stories? I, I love the backstories on this product. What happened 10 years ago with all the sports people? Anything else other than the goalie at the hockey club uh, that played the, all, the whole game? <clears throat> You got some other little well, things. <laughs> yeah. So uh, my job was to go to all these sports teams and work with them. So the one I worked with the most at first was the New York, the, uh, I'm sorry, Toronto Blue Jays baseball team. <clears throat> and Jeff Cruchel was their strength, strength coach. He was a great guy. He has a radio show now in Canada, but uh, he brought me in not just to use our products, but he tapped me as a consultant to work with the team and talk about their diet and other things they were taking. So as an example, one of their players loved white willow bark. He used it before every game. He took it throughout the day. He took it all the time. This natural product, it made him feel great. And he goes, is that okay? I said, you know what white willow bark is, right? Air aspirin. <laughs> it's aspirin. It's aspirin. And it does thin the blood. It can damage the stomach. And I, I said, it's aspirin. He's paying $60 for a bottle of aspirin. And can it be dangerous? At the doses he was taking, yes, it could have been dangerous at the doses he was taking. But so those are sort of things that would run by me, like what other people were using. I did, I'll tell this story. So I was at a poker game. This is now about 10 years ago. And I'm telling the story. When I was with the Toronto Blue Jays, they had a pitcher named David Wells. And David Wells was grossly overweight. He was like old school pitchers, like Babe Ruth, when baseball players used to be like heavy and you couldn't believe they were athletes. But he was a, a a great pitcher, but not a very good person. A lot of people had problems with him, but I was working with the team. My job was to give advice. So he was in the locker room, literally eating two egg McMuffins going like this back and forth. <laughs> and I said, Mr. Wells, we have an amazing meal replacement shake that would fill you up. It's delicious. It would, you know, it would provide all the stuff, make you healthier. And he just started cursing me. He's like, why should I listen to you? I'm one of the best pitchers in baseball. I said, well, maybe you could be the best pitcher in baseball. Maybe do it for a few more years. So he actually got the management because he wanted to kick me out. And they had to defend me. He's here. At J Rick's just here to help, you know. So they basically told me I had to stop talking to David Wells because he got so mad. Cut to over 10 years later, about 10 years ago, I'm telling this story at a poker game. And this guy laughed. He said, you're the guy. I said, what are you talking about? So he runs into his room and he gets David Wells' autobiography. And in the autobiography, it says how he hated the Blue Jays because one of the things they did is he brought in this guy to tell him how to eat. They, and he didn't say guy, he used an expletive to, to <laughs> tell them how to eat. And I was that expletive, you know? <laughs> so I'm famous. I'm in David Wells' book, even though he doesn't use my name. <laughs> that, that's, a, that's a good one. <laughs> Maybe, let's see, any other thoughts on the electrolyte drink? And so are you talking about we, we might have a shake sometime in the future? <laughs> <laughs> no, we had some good stuff. We had this whole concept of reward deficiency I'd like to revisit, where it deals with cravings and it, it you put in a meal replacement, it's good for weight loss, might be a good addition to trim science. So there's things we're looking at for the near future. Right now, we just need to catch up. We're making the new uh, silver gel, topical gel. We're making the plus hydration. And we're planning for the product launches for the conference in April, which are pretty exciting too. Oh, that's exciting. Tell, yeah. tell us a little bit about the silver gel because it's wonderful. And, and you've forever been a fan of externally used uh, nano silver. And uh, boy, being able to have it in a gel so it stays in place so it can be effective longer is, is brilliant. So how, how did you do that? 
Yeah, well, a lot of people have already been spraying the gel on their body, using it topically, spraying the nano silver spray, both internally and externally. And we heard that a lot of people were doing that and we didn't make the recommendation but people were if they had a, a sore a wart if they had something on their body they wanted to make sure actually got the silver for a period of time they would put it like soak a bandage in it and put a bandage on it to increase uh permeability and topical adhesion so we thought if we're gonna have just like we have for the plus relief the oral spray and the topical gel it might make sense to make a topical gel version of the silver. So that's why we decided to do it. So people would have their choice to be able to rub it on. And then we actually got smart too, because the silver, we didn't think about it when we put the silver in a four ounce bottle. That's just what they told us to do. But people can't bring that bottle on a plane because it's four ounces. So we made the gel in the tube 3.4 ounces. <laughs> so, so you can carry it on the plane. That's one of the reasons why it's that size. We want to make sure people can carry it on the plane if they wanted to use it. But it's really great because now that you can use it topically, you don't have to use bandages or anything like that to try to get uh, a good coverage. It will, we use carbomer, which is a, a natural a natural polymer from plants that makes the gel. And that actually uh, adheres to the skin and allows it to draw into the skin. So you get a lot more coverage, a lot more surface area contact. So yeah, I think it's going to be a really popular product. I think people are probably going to buy the spray and the, the gel together and use it as they need it. So the spray will be internal. You're dealing with bacteria, parasites, viruses, whatever internally. And then the topical gel is any kind of insult to the skin. Oh, fantastic. Maybe, maybe, maybe we could have a cell defender gel also. <laughs> Not a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> it, it could be a, a face mask and toothpaste and all sorts of things at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> So let's see. I got a lot of questions. Let's see if I can answer some okay. of these. Answer that one already. My left knee is bone. Can I, I can't do exercise due to pain. It's probably still good to Yeah. So first, let's talk. If someone has bone on bone knee pain, definitely we should do something about that. Use the plus relief on the knee. But you might need a knee replacement. You should certainly be using glucosamine daily. 1,500 milligrams of glucosamine has been shown within six months to increase spacing, even in knees that have like no cartilage left. So there's things you can do for that. But yes, as I said before, even if, even if you're not doing aerobic exercise, it's still a healthy product to take. There is zeolite in it. I answered that. I answered that. Someone asked about prolonged diarrhea. I don't know. Uh, certainly, we haven't seen that in the predicate product. Most people that have those issues with sports drinks, it's related more to either the coloring, the flavoring, or other things in sports drink, not specifically the carbs and the and the electrolytes. As I said, we sold... Of, of this product, the predicate product, we probably sold probably a million boxes over the years and never saw any any side effects. Someone talked about chemo dehydrating your person. Yeah, most drugs dehydrate you as part of their action. So yes, if someone's on chemo, if someone's... But really, I, I said, almost all Americans are, are dehydrated, so it's going to benefit everybody. Someone talked about how do you flush toxin if you're holding underwater, especially with your detox product. So I'm going to take a step back because this is part of my tip of the spear speech. For some reason, all of us think that when you say detox, it means going to the bathroom. You're urinating, you're pooping, you're sweating, you're getting things out of the body. And that's true. Eventually, you got to get out of the body. But you don't necessarily have to constantly, you don't have to take diurex and laxatives to detox. The wonder of the zeolite is that it's trapping all those toxins. So when you do go to the bathroom, you're getting rid of those toxins. Uh, the, the problem, the, the, the question is an interesting one because I do want you to hold on to more water because you're not holding on to, on to enough of it. Uh, so you want to stay hydrated. You want to keep your blood volume up. You want to keep everything in circulation that improves metabolism, that improves healthy circulation, that improves, we, we talked before, zinc finger protein metabolism. So you're building more and more healthy cells and healing the body. All that is good. But when you drink the, when I talk about drinking the water to support the zeolite, that's not to flush the toxins out. That's because the zeolite traps electrolytes. It tends to trap bad electrolytes, mercury, lead, cadmium, arsenic, tin, bismuth, aluminum, antimony, but they are charged particles. And as I already said, the way our body holds on the water is by the amount of charged particles in the bloodstream. Because those charged particles are separating and you need more water to hold them apart, to allow them to separate. 
But when you're, the ZLA is removing those, you actually lose water with it because you're removing those electrolytes and changing the net positive charge of the body. So that's why I say it's good to get healthy electrolytes back in as you're removing these toxins, uh, these heavy metals from the body. So I hope that makes sense. I, I've been, Dave, I found myself at conference. I don't know if I was just punchy, but I slipped into my lecture mode a couple of times and I, I realized I was speaking like I was talking to a class of biochemists and I had to stop myself and, and step back and make sure everyone understood what I was saying. <laughs> I think everybody was in rap. So. <laughs> so this is an interesting question. It says, does natural flavor include the peel of the orange? Because someone's allergic to the peel. First of all, I've never heard someone allergic just to the orange peel. Or that's a question. I don't know. I'll ask my vendor because it's freeze dried California oranges. I don't know if that includes the peel or not. But that's something I'll, I'll follow up with our vendor. Let's see. Someone says, talking about hydrating the cell, we see our skin more hydrated. So it hydrates cells, but more importantly, I was talking about muscles. Because muscles, as we use our carbohydrates, as we use our glycogen in the muscles, that needs to be replenished. And so those carbs are meant to go into the muscle to rehydrate the muscle so that our muscles function well. And if our muscles are functioning better, then we can be more physically active. It's this vicious, perfect, vicious cycle of activity. So the better we feel, the more energy we have, the better our muscles feel, the more activity we can have, and we get healthier and healthier and healthier. A virtuous cycle versus a vicious cycle. A vicious cycle, <laughs> right. I like that. So when will it be available? So we've been scaling up production. We have a new machinist in. We're hoping to be shipping Monday. Hopefully by the end of the week, end of the next week, we'll catch up with all the orders. Okay, so it should be shipping out throughout the week. Oh boy. Cosmetic instead of external. Is that something on the nano silver? Pat Tracy says, why does it say cosmetic instead of external? All the good stuff is the bacteria and immune system, et cetera. I don't understand the question. <clears throat> Sounds like it would be silver. I got a bottle of it. A tube of it handy. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So they're asking silver questions. I don't really understand that. Topically, just when you talk about compliance, things can be topical. Usually when they're topical, they fall under the FD and DNC, Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act. And cosmetic is anything topical. So what are your choices? Food, drug, and cosmetic. So anything topical kind of falls into that as far as regulatory language. So that's probably why it would say cosmetic. The gel has TEA is a part of the carbomer. It's actually called TEA carbomer. It's a plant-derived gelling agent. So it allows, basically it's a thickening agent that allows the silver to be suspended in a gel. But it is plant-derived for non-GMO plants. Um, oh, that's interesting. So someone's talking about being able to get more than four ounces across by saying it's medicine. Someone asked about the silver gel and open wounds. Certainly the silver is healthy to be used on wounds. There's no alcohol. It's not going to hurt you. In fact, even clinically, silver is used uh, as part of poultices and things like that on open wounds. So it's, it's perfectly safe. By definition, it's sterile because the silver kills everything. Uh, it kills all the bad stuff. So certainly you can use the silver if you have a cut or a scrape. Someone talked about using nano silver as a toothpaste. I never thought I've, of that. I've tried it. Yeah, it seems, yeah. seems like it would make sense. Yeah. Certainly my wife pointed out to me that <clears throat> when she uses a silver and she's actually like getting a cold or something's wrong, it tastes worse than when she's feeling perfectly healthy. And I've never, I didn't realize that. Have you realized that? I haven't even thought about that. I can taste the silver, but I've never really. But it has more of a bitter taste, like when a cold is coming on or when you've been exposed to stuff. That's my wife That's pointed it out to me yesterday and she's completely right. I I, th I never thought of that before. So you can actually taste if it. The worse the silver tastes, the more you need it. <laughs> wow, fascinating. That's something new uh, I just discovered. So someone's asking me to compare the hydration of another product I've never heard of. Elaine, if you want to just send me an email, Rick, R-I-K at Avini Health, I'll take a look and get that back to you. Okay, so someone talked about dehydrate. We're dehydrated. Should we load when first start? And no. If you're actually want to use this during a workout, use it during the workout. When you're going through the, that muscle glycogen, that's the best way to use it. Certainly can drink water beforehand. But the best way to use it is when your muscles are already being used, you're already physically active, and the muscles need the carbs. And that drives the water and the carbs into the muscles. Pat says the gel is awesome, by the way. The, the spray, thought the spray was great, but gel is fantastic. Thank you. I just like playing with the gel because we get it in big barrels and it jiggles a lot. 
And for some reason, I just always think of that Christmas poem uh, where Santa has a bowl full of uh, belly full. Of, <laughs> his belly shook like a bowl full of jelly. I don't know why I think like that, but every time I see it, I think of Santa Claus. <laughs> okay. Ninth year of chronic bladder infection plus injury of the bladder all. Well, the bladder, yeah, if she has chronic bladder infections, then certainly she should be on the silver. Because the silver will deal with the infections. Is she using like cranberry extract and things like that? So when you have bladder infections, urinary tract infections, the biggest issue is that the bacteria holds on to the walls of the bladder and the urinary tract. And so they use a drug called trimethoprim. And what all trimethoprim does is make the bacteria slippery. So it can't hold on to the walls. And that's exactly the same thing that's in cranberry juice, proanthocyanidins are exactly the same as the drug trimethoprim. It makes the bacteria slippery, so it comes off. That's why you say drink cranberry juice or take cranberry pills to prevent urinary tract infections. So certainly she should be on a cranberry product and the nano silver. So, uh, so he just says kidney pain issues are often used more. I don't know what they're asking. Do you know that, Dave? I'm not sure other than kidneys love water. So generally we... Could yeah, so, the, so this is another thing. People think if you have kidney problems, you shouldn't drink water because the water goes to the kidneys. But unless you're actually on dialysis, any kidney issues, you need to drink as much water as you can and keep flushing through the kidneys. And I only say with dialysis, the problem with people on dialysis is that they're limited in the amount of fluid they can ingest because they're not processing the fluid and getting it through their body. So most dialysis patients will chew on ice. They, they really can't drink water. Certainly, if you're not on dialysis, you can drink as much water as possible. And if you have kidney issues, you want to drink more and more water to flush through the kidneys. Um, oh, someone asked about rehydrating be good for issues that cause prolonged diarrhea. Well, first, I'd want to see what's causing the prolonged diarrhea. I'd want to treat that first. I'm not a guy that likes to treat symptoms. So when someone tells me they have a problem like that, I want to take a step back and say, what is happening? Uh, if there's prolonged diarrhea, is it medication? Are they on diuretics? Do they have a peristalsis issue, encopresis? There's got to do a mycobacterium infection can cause diarrhea. I'd really want to take a look at what's causing it before I just try to treat the problem. Do you only mix this water? Can you add to, <laughs> excuse me, someone said about mixing. Yeah. So this product is ma meant to just mix with water. If you want the greatest benefit, which is the low osmolality, it's all in there. Everything you need is in there. Just mix it with 10 to 12 ounces of water. Shake it and drink it. That's the other thing, too. It should be You should drink it within an hour of mixing it. The longer it sits in solution, those maltodextrins will start to break down and act, the osmolality will start to go up. So it changes the osmolality over time. So when you mix it, you really want to try to drink it within an hour to get the best benefit. If you start adding other things that have other components in it, it actually changes the chemistry of the product. So for this product in particular, you really just want to mix it with water. It's just a thank you. So when it's where the questions are coming from, but if you go to the chat box, you can see all the questions. If someone hasn't used Zoom before, go to the bottom, you'll see Q&A. And that's where all the questions are. So Don, yeah, I already answered about the carbs and, and, uh, and blood sugar. It's very little carbs compared to food. And the carbs are the long chain maltodextrins, which don't are low glycemic and the fructose, which is metabolized in the liver, which is low glycemic. Oh, someone asked about the new Avini app. I'm not the guy to ask about that. They did talk about it from stage. Dave, I don't know if you want to answer that question. It's not a Rick question. Get, get the app and start using it. That's pretty much what I've done. Is it working already? It opens up. I imagine it'll be fully operational <laughs> in November because I think that's what the deadline they had, but you can actually get it on the app store and load it on. And so that's pretty much all I've done so far. Okay. Thane, Thane got one of the packets. I don't know if anyone was in this group, but I went to get a break between the meeting and the party. And uh, I started answering questions and suddenly I was surrounded by distributors and they kind of walked with me. And next thing you know, I'm in a room with about 50 distributors with a microphone in my hand doing a live Q&A session. <laughs> I don't know if you were there. But while I was there, I actually handed out samples. We only had a couple of cases of Plus Hydration with us. So I guess Dane got some. So he's used the Plus Hydration after 80 flights of stairs in 20 minutes and waits for 40 minutes with no break. Love, love, love this product. No muscle fatigue, no sleep in his post-workout. Well, there we go. Yeah. Someone asked about the electrolytes. I did answer that before. It's sodium, potassium, and phosphorus. And magnesium. Uh -oh. 
So Pat, Pat Tracy, you know, so as you put in another classification for tax would shift, that's another issue with another com. Okay, so I'll, I'll ask about that, Pat. I didn't do the uh, regulatory on the silver tube that came from the uh, manufacturer of the silver, uh, but I'll talk about that if it's a problem with classification shipping. I'll tell Neil about that and we'll look into it. Help someone who's having trouble holding salt. That doc says minimize H2O intake and take salt pills. Feels so bad. All right, so <clears throat> if you can't hold on to salt, there are specific issues that you need to look at. There's actually pituitary issues. There's hormonal issues where the body can't pop properly balance salt. There's diuretics that rob your body of electrolytes, especially sodium. Um, and that's why some diuretics are potassium sparing or sodium sparing. If your body can't hold on to salt and they'll just make you take salt pills, once again, you're treating a symptom and not the problem. So you really need maybe to go to an endocrinologist and find out exactly what's wrong to treat that issue. Okay. Safe to put the silver inside nose and or ears. Yeah. I mean, Dave just said he brushes with it. <laughs> so someone asked about what products are best for COVID or flu. We can't talk about treating any sickness or disease. I'll give this blanket statement. All of our products, except for the Plus Relief, are dietary supplements, the Plus Relief for homeopathic drugs. So we can't make any claim as a treatment or prevention of symptom or disease. And anyone that has a diagnosed medical condition is under physician's care or taking prescription medicine should talk to their medical professional before using any dietary supplement, not just ours. But when we talk about COVID or flu or just being sick, you want to do anything you can to raise but modulate the immune system health. Of course, that's Cell Defender. In any and all cases, Cell Defender is the tip of the spear. All of you guys should be on the Cell Defender every day. And then on top of that, for immune system health is the Z immunity. And the recommendation is two a day just for everyday use. So at best, one in the morning, one at night, if you can separate the dose. We have found that doubling that, especially when you're sick, is incredibly helpful. Taking more than that is doesn't seem to have an uh, additional benefit. So four a day, two in the morning, two at night, if you're sick. That's his immunity. And of course, if you have any bacterial, viral, parasitic infection, the silver is amazing. Nano silver is amazing at taking care of all the living stuff that doesn't belong. So I love, I think Marcy actually did this, so, or Chip. He, they look at the cell defender taking out all the non-living stuff that doesn't belong in your body, and the silver taking out all the living stuff that doesn't belong in your body. So it's a really good one-two punch. Okay, got the app, is terrific. Please address young children drinking plus hydration. Absolutely, they can take it just like they could, a Gatorade or Powerade, and it's healthier than any of those sports drinks. So yes, young children can use it as well, just like they would use Pedialyte, for example, as an electrolyte drink. That's a better example for young children. And again, the best time is they're playing on the playground, they're running around, they're sweating. You want to prevent uh, dehydration, you want to prevent uh, heat exhaustion. Great product for that. Plus hydration, we're taking orders now. It will be shipping uh, in the next few days. Um, you can use ionized water with the plus hydration. There's nothing wrong with that. That won't change the chemistry of the product. How does the zeolite work with the plus hydration? So we know the zeolite is negatively charged and it holds on to positively charged compounds, but it doesn't like the good minerals. It doesn't like calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, sodium, potassium, but it loves mercury, lead, cadmium, arsenic, things like that. But just because it doesn't like those other metals doesn't mean it doesn't exchange those other metals. That's a process called cationic exchange. And by doing so, it actually helps shuttle things like calcium magnesium around the body where it's better utilized. Uh, so what the cell defender does in this case is first becomes a nutritional enabler by removing the bad metals, allows you to better take in the good metals, uh, but also it helps shuttle those good metals around the body where they're better utilized. Uh, so we, we call that a shuttling mechanism. It's safe to spray or drop cell defender now so into our eyes. Uh, yes, it's perfectly safe. I will tell you the cell defender is a colloidal suspension of zeolite. So it's a powder that's suspended in a liquid. So when it hits your eyes, it's going to feel gritty in your eye. It's not dangerous, but <clears throat> depending how you shake it, how you use it, I usually recommend if you're going to use it in your eyes, you should use the glass bottle with the dropper and take it from like, don't shake it up, take it from the uh, clear liquid There'll be uh, submicron particles still floating in that liquid to so get the zeolite, but the smallest particles of the zeolite uh, in the eye, and it won't feel so gritty. And if um, you're wearing contacts, don't do that. 
<laughs> yeah, someone said they do it with their contacts, and it's really irritating. I said, don't put in your eyes with contacts. Take the contacts out. Because it's going to get trapped uh, around the layers of the contact. It can actually dry out the contact. So, yeah, don't don't use it with contacts. Thank you for your time. Why did you add the maltodextrin fructose? How does it affect type 2 diabetes? So, Jennifer, I kind of talked about this already. I don't know if you came in late, but <clears throat> sports drinks require carbohydrates. Because the electrolytes allow your body to hold on to water, but you want to drive that water into the muscle where it gets utilized. So, carb-starved muscles that you are glycogen depleted because you've been working out, they need carbohydrates. So we had the lowest glycemic, healthiest carbohydrates, the mixed maltodextrins and the uh, fruit-derived fructose uh, are going to drive the water into the muscles by replenishing the glycogen and moving into the muscle. Uh, for diabetics, like I said, it's very little. You're talking about milligrams, not grams of sugars. The maltodextrins are long chain starchy uh, carbohydrates, so they're they're are very low glycemic. It's not going to affect blood glucose levels, and the fructose is metabolized in the liver, so it's also low glycemic and won't affect blood sugar levels. So, I got through all the questions, Dave. Oh no, oh, sorry, amazing! Dave. Thank you. Oh man, more came up just as I was talking. <laughs> Someone said, "If I drink the plus hydration with the meal, does that change the effectiveness?" Yes, it does. I mean, you're still getting the electrolytes, you're getting hydrated, but like I said. The best time to take it is when you would take a sports drink. So that's when you're physically active. And then additionally, if you want to try to prevent things like restless leg syndrome and hydrate at night, drink it just before bed. Shake your hands over after I take cell defender, silver is a heavy metal. Right? That's a great question. People ask me all this all the time. Will the cell defender remove silver? The fact is even ionic silver is not really cell defender. The zeolite doesn't like ionic silver. It's a plus one charge. It's a relatively large metal. So the cell defender doesn't take out ionic silver, but we're not ionic silver. We're seven to 10 nanometer silver spheres, way too big to be pulled into the zeolite because of the, the stable nanospheres of the nanosilver. So yeah, it's perfectly safe to use the cell defender with the silver. It's not going to inhibit function of either one. Probably a, a really good synergy between the two, in fact. Okay. Any tips for nerve damage from a wasp thing from years ago? That's, I definitely want to look at that. If you have nerve damage from a wasp thing, then there's something else going on, maybe while nearing degeneration. I don't know if you've been to a neurologist, especially if it's a wasp thing, it's going to be topical and no susceptive nerves. Try the plus relief topical gel and see if that helps. Um, we have, I told that story, I think I told it from stage. One of our long term investors, I had sent him the product because he had back problems. And he's in his late 50s, early 60s. He had back problems. So I sent him the plus relief for his back. And he called me crying. He said when he was, I think, eight or nine years old, he got hit in the face with a baseball and it crushed his cheek and his orbit. And ever since then, he has not felt his right cheek since he was nine years old. So he started using the plus relief for his back problems, but suddenly he felt his cheek again. And so I see this all the time. What plus relief does is it modulates the nerve signals. So big signals become little signals. So pain is a big signal, it becomes a little signal. But by the same token, he wasn't feeling things because there was so much nerve damage. Well, now as the signal is truncated, it can get into those nerves and he started feeling his cheek again, which I thought was a great little side effect. He's crying to me on the phone. They can feel his face for the first time since he was nine years old. So very cool stuff. Okay. Someone asked about hormone interaction in menopause. I don't know what they mean. So any, if you're not active, never drink sports drinks, any concern about menopause? I don't know exactly what they're asking. I have no concerns about menopause. Certainly perimenopausal, premenopausal, postmenopausal women can certainly use the product. As I said before, the this is a hydration drink. It can be used daily for hydration, but the absolute best use is when you're physically active and your muscles are carb starved. I say this about the fiber also. It's healthy fiber anytime, but the best time to take the fiber is 10 to 15 minutes before a meal. You get the best bang for your buck. You get all of the benefits of the fiber if you take it 10 to 15 minutes before the meal. It doesn't mean you can't take it anytime you want. Okay, so same thing with the plus hydration. It's a good hydration drink whenever you want to take it. I, I, I'm telling you the best way to use it is when you're physically active, your muscles are carb starved, you've used up energy in your muscles. That's the best time to get the best value from the product. And then after that would be if you have problems like leg cramping or restless leg syndrome or something during the night, drink it just before bed, those problems should go away without having to uh, get up in the middle of the night. The, that's the best way to use this product. Whew. How am I doing? I'm excited. This might be a good sleep aid. That's exciting. 
Okay. All right. I think we okay. did it. Rick, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And thanks for all the wonderful products that are changing our lives. I apologize for being late. I apologize for having used an old computer where I look all fuzzy, but I'm glad I was able to get this across and answer these questions. Guys, thank you so much. Have a great thanks. weekend. Wonderful information. Thanks, everybody, especially Rick.